An iceberg is a large piece of ice that has broken off from a snow-formed glacier and is floating in open water. The Norse word iceberg means mountain of ice. We believe that the iceberg that sank the Titanic was formed 5,000 years ago when layers of snow and ice were crushed together to form part of the immense Greenland glacier. Today, glaciers, rivers of ice, move at speeds of up to 25 metres a day across Greenland as new ice is formed. When the glaciers reach the sea on the northwest coast of Greenland, large chunks of ice are broken off and enter the North Atlantic Sea. As this occurs, the coastal current transports the large masses of ice northwards at first towards Baffin's Bay before the winds and currents change direction and transport the iceberg south along the East Canadian coastline, past Newfoundland, towards the North Atlantic Sea. Icebergs vary in size. Larger bergs can be up to 75 metres high and 200 metres in length. By comparison, small growlers and berg bits stand no more than 5 metres tall and do not exceed 15 metres in length. It is believed that the iceberg that sank the Titanic was about 30 metres high and some 100 metres in length. However, these figures do not include the part of the iceberg that lies beneath the water. Because ice is denser than water, a staggering 85% of an iceberg is always hidden and submerged beneath the waves. When the cold air of the North Atlantic meets the warmer air of the jet stream, melting starts to occur. At this stage, the appearance of the iceberg will change, a result of the mass being reduced by melting, which often causes the iceberg to tip over on its side. There is no doubt that the iceberg that struck the RMS Titanic on the night of the 14th of April 1912 was approaching the end of its life cycle. Formed when the ice broke off the Greenland ice shelf in the autumn of 1910, it is probable that the iceberg had taken 18 months to gradually drift towards the 50th parallel. By the time it reached this location, 400 kilometres southeast of Newfoundland, its size would have been greatly reduced and its appearance significantly changed. Difficult to detect against the clear night sky, there is no doubt the mass of the ice beneath the water presented a serious threat to shipping and that contact with the Titanic would have immediately created a tear in the hull below the waterline. Following the collision with the RMS Titanic, the iceberg would only have survived and remained afloat for just a matter of weeks. Rolling from side to side, pieces of the berg would have become detached by the continual buffeting of the waves. Reduced to just millions of shards of glass, the iceberg is now no more. All that remains are just the dust and rock fragments that now lie on the ocean floor.